guys, it's Melanie and welcome to Living Luxuriously for Less. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my all-time favorite indoor and outdoor backdrops. Now these are not any uh, in any particular order, but I do advise you to grab your pen and pencil to keep up. So let's hop right in. Now the first backdrop that I'm sharing with you all is this greenery wall. And it is one of my favorites because I wanted it one of these for so long. Um, but I just never thought that I would actually get one. And finally I did. And I absolutely love it. I've transformed it in so many different ways. It is a wall that I think will never go out of style. You can add in fresh greenery as you see me doing here. Um, I just went outside and just picked some greenery from outside. I'm in the south. So we have greenery everywhere. And then I mixed the fresh greenery with some faux um, silk flowers that I had gotten from Joanne and Hobby Lobby and I just added them in around the wall and it just turned out absolutely incredible. I think we use this for maybe Mother's Day or Father's Day at our ministry but it's just so many different things. It's it's a very diversified piece. Um, you can like add letters or the neon signs. I mean, those are so easy to just kind of zip tie on and they it just turned out incredible. So I absolutely love this piece. My next favorite one, again, I told you guys I use this uh, greenery wall time and time again, but I do love, this one because like you again you can add flowers and different pieces onto it and it's really super easy to just kind of um, zip tie things on i created this floral uh, frame using some um, poster board and then some faux flowers now this backdrop the reason i love it is i want you guys to look at this before the fountain all those things could not be moved and it just looked like very gardeny but look at how the backdrop transformed this entire event space like before it was more romantic and more garden and more rustic looking and now it's a beautiful glam space now my next favorite one was actually this balloon wall now I actually love this entire event. If I had to name like five of my top favorite events of all times, this would definitely be in the top five. But the reason why I love this backdrop wall is because I had seen this whole balloon wall vision and I had some students from Lux Academy that I challenged to make this happen. I just gave them like instructions on how to get it done. And then I left them with one of my wonderful teachers, Sharonda, when I got back, it was perfect. So I absolutely loved the way it turned out. It was so gorgeous and it made some amazing photos. Now this wedding, you guys, was one of those classic weddings that I think will never go out of style. I would look at this 10 years from now and still be in love with it. So I wanted to show you guys the entire room before I showed you guys the backdrop. Because when you have neutral walls, you don't have to drape the entire room. You can just kind of add some up lighting um, in key spots and create a backdrop behind the sweetheart table that will take everyone's breath away because all of the focus was there on the sweetheart table and you know on the design of the space like i used a lot of candles and you know um the chair covers were just a work of art all by themselves i worked in the bling because the bride absolutely loved bring bling and then we also had low flowers and high flowers and beautiful napkin uh, napkins and napkin rings from totallydazzle.com. These are still like, these napkin rings still look fabulous, by the way. Um, if you guys are interested, I will leave a link down below. But I just absolutely love this entire backdrop setup. It really reminds me of the same style that I used when I created the bling um, kind of buttons that went on the backdrop but the florals were absolutely amazing and I just felt like the backdrop just added to the overall aesthetics of the space and the chandelier just it just really added that extra oomph and I 
this is like one of those classic events that I think would probably also be in my top five events of all time. Um, maybe I'll do a video on my top five events. Who knows? If you guys are interested in a video like that, let me know. But I just absolutely love this backdrop. It was so clean. It was so crisp. Um, it was timeless. I just, again, I feel like if I looked at these pictures 10 years from now, I would still love this wedding. And I think that's the important important thing to remember when you're doing backdrops you want to you know create something that is timeless for you and for your clientele now moving on to outdoor backdrops you guys I feel like nature makes some of the most beautiful backdrops ever and this is absolutely stunning you see the lake and the trees like Money cannot buy this. There was nothing that I could have put up that would have outdone the beauty of nature. So I actually, I, I absolutely loved it. And I'm going to just stop talking and let you guys see how the event turned out decorated against this beautiful natural backdrop. So since we're already outside, let's stay out there and I will share with you this backdrop that I did using an octagon backdrop stand from e Favor Mart. Uh, I love this backdrop again because of the natural um, aspects of it, but also because this is something that I created during the pandemic when it first started and it just kept me really inspired. Um, I know that sometimes, you know, it's easy to get into like a box where you don't want to create. And this really brought that out of me along with this natural backdrop that I created last year, this boho chic theme picnic. This was before all the picnic things started being really popular. Like I did this last July and it's really taking off this year. But again, the natural backdrop was just everything, everything, the seating. Um, the florals like I just absolutely love this this was for my niece's fifth birthday party and she had a princess picnic it turned out so absolutely cute and incredible I absolutely love the way that everything looked and again just being outside um, it was a beautiful day the tea the um, teepee and the um the peacock chair just really added to that whole boho chic feel. And my friend Felicia at Muscle Shows Florist did an incredible job on the flowers. And I just thought that was amazing. And it just really framed out that space. And speaking of framing out, this backdrop did just that for this venue. The stage was kind of like catty corner and I knew to, we needed to do something to frame out that entire area. And it just turned out absolutely incredible. This, by the way, the backdrop matched the latching um, or the lattice in the, the um, tablecloth that you see there. Now this has to be my number one favorite of all times. And this is just to show you how backdrops can totally change and transform a space. And this was a barn and we turned it into an elegant event venue. So absolutely beautiful, incredible, amazing. So I'm going to be quiet and let you guys just kind of enjoy this if you've never seen it before.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love for you to tell me your favorite backdrop down in the comments below. Was it an indoor one? Was it an outdoor one? Is there a tie? I mean, I'd love to know. Also, I would like to remind you guys that I just published a video on how to start organizing your inventory, whether you are entertaining at home or for event planning using this really tool, uh, cool, tool that I found at Bed Bath & Beyond. I would love for you to check that video out. I will also link it at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!